Soap making is not only fun and fulfilling, it can also help protect you and the ones you love from dangerous chemicals that are used to create commercial soap and other personal care products. Do you know what ingredients are used to make the bar of soap you buy in this supermarket? Sodium larval sulfate, or SLS, is responsible for the grease cleaning action of soap. It's the reason why, after a bath, our skin is squeaky clean and oil-free. However, this effect of SLS is done by way of corrosion, which is harsh on our skin. This often leaves our skin dry, prone to wrinkling and aging, and by removing the protective layer of oil that coats our skin, it impairs the skin's ability to keep itself well moisturized. Dibutyl phthalate, or DBP, is often used in the fragrances of soap and other personal care products. It's responsible for making the scent evaporate more slowly, which allows the fragrance to last longer on our skin. But did you know that DBP is listed as a toxin that's harmful to our immune system, kidney, nervous system, and reproductive system, to name a few? And although we don't ingest it, do remember that a lot of the chemicals we put on our skin do get absorbed by our bodies. Need further proof? DBP is metabolized in our urine and is one of the chemicals regularly surveyed and monitored by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control. Commercial soaps that are sold as antibacterial soap often contain triclosan. Triclosan is a chemical that is used to fight bacteria and germs. However, triclosan can also be toxic to our skin and our bodies. It's actually listed as a pesticide, which makes it a high-risk chemical. Imagine putting that on your skin every day. Recently, the US FDA has been looking closely into the impact of triclosan and investigating claims that it helps create super strains of bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics. When soap is produced, glycerin is one of the things that gets produced with it. Glycerin helps retain moisture on your skin. However, commercial soap manufacturers remove glycerin and sell it to cosmetic companies. That leaves us with soap that dries skin. Knowing what chemicals go into commercial soap, it's no surprise that more and more people seem to develop skin allergies and conditions. This is the advantage of using handmade soap, and even of making your own soap. Being in control of what goes into the soap that you use can help you maintain healthy, clear, supple, and youthful skin. Aside from that, it can also help you stay in good health by avoiding toxic buildup of harmful chemicals found in commercial soap. If you want to get started on making homemade soap, the best way is to find reliable information. That way, you avoid mistakes that discourage most newbie soap makers. One great source is Sandy Simmons' The Super Soap Making Book. It's written specifically with a soap beginner in mind and is filled with tips and techniques that expert soap makers use to avoid mistakes and create batch after batch of perfectly crafted handmade soap. Visit the book's official site at supersoapmakingsecrets.com.